Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Teague with Auto Jeff Reviews. I'm really excited to bring you more information about 2023 Honda CRV Hybrid. This is the Sport. You can get the Sport Touring, which is the bigger trim level, or you can go with the more economical Sport. This one's going to be $32,950 starting off price, factory MSRP, or you can get the Sport Touring. That'll be starting at $39,1. And over the course of this video, we're going to go section by section so you can learn all about it. The front end, the profile, the back. But for right now, we're going to walk around it so you can get the bigger picture. What is this? Well, it's a direct competitor to something like RAV4 Hybrid. Really, any small SUV. Do you want to go with the new CRV Gas or CRV Hybrid? It'll tell you right there it's all wheel drive right below the windshield wiper. We're also going to look at the window sticker and we'll check out the interior. So yeah, 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 this is going to average 37 MPG fuel fax time. That means 40 in the city, 34 on the highway. It's a 14 gallon fuel tank on the driver's door. How about this still night color? This is a 2.0 liter direct injection, four cylinder engine with electric motor assist. Then it's got CVT transmission. This is all wheel drive. I like the fact that they've got the hydraulic lifts on the sides and the hood blanket here going to keep it a little bit quieter for you as you and let's get a look a little bit closer my friends in case you want to know what the goods are about brakes and suspension this has four wheel disc brakes it also has mcpherson struts in the front i love to watch you strut and then it's got multi-link suspension in the back it should be nice smooth sailing and then tighten up on curves. All right, so take a look at the front end here. We have a monstrous grill. When I say monstrous, I mean, look how three-dimensional this is. I mean, this is a really bold choice for Honda here. You want this one to come out hot. Boy, did you make a statement in the front. Look at that. Got the silver metallic accent along with gloss black. We got honeycomb grill design down below, but look at that. We've got gloss black accents throughout that fade into those sleek LED headlights with auto on off feature. I'd like to see some fog lights there, but not everything's gonna have fogs. I just like the look of it. And as you look at the profile, notice that it has a combination of kind of a pronounced front end along with a sloped front end and then goes back, it's rugged. It's really cool looking. This is going to appeal a lot of people. I could see how this would definitely appeal to a lot of different segments of the population here. Let's take a look at these wheels. Pretty cool there with the multi-spoke gloss black. Got the five lug pattern. 235 60R18 tires. Got pretty thin fender treatments. But what I like is the fact that we've got this flat shaped that kind of curves out. It actually makes a statement without saying too much. We got gloss black on the mirror caps, turn signal indicators, blind spot right there, chrome window surround along with gloss black roof rails. So we kind of got a combination of a lot of themes going on here. Is it too much? Or is it just the right amount? You tell me in the comment section. How do you like that profile? Oh, look at that back end though. So what do I like about this back end? Well, I like this big butt and I cannot lie. It's got LED headlights that kind of sweep across. And then we've got little almost scallops of lights. Sport in matte black, CRV hybrid in chrome and blue. It's just absolutely stunning here. And I love the color of this paint, this beautiful bluish, almost purplish paint with the silver metallic accents. And down here we've got that faux double exhaust. How does it look? So look at this, we've got 39.3 cubic feet of storage space right here behind the second row. And if you put those down, it's 76.5. But look here, it's very tall. So that means wide, tall that you can actually fit in here with your boxes stacked on top of you. You know what I mean. Got us a lithium ion battery. In case you were wondering what the drive battery was, we've got Nice storage space that goes out. We've got a light, some hooks, latches for child safety seats in the house. Whoop, whoop. And if I want to lay the seats down, well, nice and flat. Opens it right up, my friends. Look at that. We've got a little slope like kids playing on a snowy day down the hill. Whee! Or maybe the polar bears in that Coke commercial. That's what they're doing. Look here. Interesting accent piece 
surrounding an even more interesting accent piece. Soft touch here. Deep, deep sport bottle holder right there. That's nice. So here we go. Let's get on inside. We've got, oh, that is comfortable. <laughs> that was a surprise. 38.2 inches of rear seat headroom, and you can adjust it by sliding the seats backward like I've got here. We have 41.0, 41, my friends, inches of rear seat legroom, and I've got different push back in this. This is an extremely hard middle seat, just so you're aware when you buy the vehicle. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, I can stretch out here. This is super nice for long road trips. That's what I'm thinking for you. What else am I seeing here? My observations, I see a moonroof. I see the cloth fabric seats, but we've also got stitching here in orange in this case, black with orange. It's a Halloween car. All right, USBs back here. Every vehicle should have USBs in the back now. Air vents. Boy, I wish I had this out in the sunshine. A car show vehicle. It's just tough to film sometimes. All right, let's go on in through the passenger side here. Nice use of storage. Ba-boom. I like that. And then we've got those vents. You can see them on things like Civic, for example. I just like that grade. It's just a cool look. Feels like you're staying at a trendy hotel in your car. Here we go, my friends. Okay, this is not a power adjustable, but you can get four-way power on the Sport Touring. So let's look around in here. Pretty easy with the shifter. Different drive modes, just kind of pop it forward and backward. Electronic parking brake and brake hold. Cup holders here, they look pretty deep to me. And then, ooh, that's nice. It's about just past the wrist, I'd say. So pretty deep, actually. hey -o, let's look on inside here. I like the way they broke up the black seating with the accent stripes, but also the pattern within the stripes. Pretty cool. That's the fact, Jack. Let's go here. You know, from the movie Stripes, if you guys saw it. That's what I'm referencing. Look at that. That's one of the most well-indicated blind spot indicators that I've seen without being lit up. It's pretty cool. It's lit. All right, we got lumbar support here, two-way. I think it's a 10-way power adjustable seat, leather-wrapped wheel, seven-inch display. And then this one right here, it's a little on the small side. It's seven inches, but you can upgrade to nine inches. This is a six-speaker system. You can also get the Bose system if you go with the Sport Touring. So that might be something that you would like if you're into Big music, big crystal clear sound. Look at that storage area there, that's pretty huge. All right, not an auto dimming rear view mirror. Remember, we're saving a lot of money by not getting the Sport Touring and going with the Sport. So that would be one way that you would want to go is less options for less dough. Got a mirror that would be lighted, should have slider and it does as expected. All right, let's get on in here so we can see the window sticker, 37 MPG, like we said. That proves it though. All right, hybrid CRV, very cool. Would this be the one for you? I don't know, let's find out. We've got this one right here, 2.0 liter. Look at all the safety features here. That's gonna go along with Honda Sensing that we'll see in the lower right-hand corner. We'll get to that though. Plenty of interior features to talk about here. It is a 10-way power. Nice. All right, here we go. Heated seats in the front. Exterior features. Honda Sensing. We've got adaptive cruise control, collision mitigation, braking, lane keep assist, road departure mitigation, traffic jam assist. That's nice, and this is the all-wheel drive. Boom, 36.2. The ratings are not shown on the sticker quite yet. What do you think? Thanks for watching, everybody. What did you think of CRV Hybrid? Would you go with the Sport? Or maybe you saw my previous video on the Sport Touring. Would you go with that one? What's best for you? Woo, this is exciting. All right, leave a comment, let me know. Please subscribe to my Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, Auto Jeff Reviews. We're across all platforms, and I'll see you next time.
Woo!